Hello and welcome back to another episode of Nobody Sees the World. We're currently on episode 15. Last time we did a bunch of dungeons. We did, I think, two mine dungeons, Big Gnarly, and the mana? The vampire mana. What is it called? Grimwald's mana. This time, I think we're going to be starting exploring up this area. I kind of want to low-key know how to get into that area. It might be through that little gap there, so I kind of want to explore there real quick. Also, on this episode, I also want to test out a few more builds. No, I actually do want to get Necromancer to C tier. And then, I'm going to be trying out a Slug and Egg build, surprisingly. Anyway, let's go. Alright, so I thought this was a sneaky area. Let's go down here. That's a mana fairy. Hey, they have a free mana upgrade. Do I mind if I do? Awesome. I wonder how many mana fairies are left. Anyway, let's clear out this area. I wonder if there's anything else down here. Maybe a dolphin? Because there's still two dolphins that I haven't found. Oh, there's nothing down here. Alright, that's that dealt with. So, is there something else? Let's take a look down there. That's... I don't know how many dolphins are left. Let me take a look on the quest log. I'm three out of five, so I'm still missing two dolphins. I wonder where they could be. Now let's take a look down here. There's a chance. Alright, that's a fourth dolphin. E. I'm glad my kids aren't around for this. End translation. <laughs> that's interesting. Alright, and we need one more dolphin down in the jungle. I wonder where it could be. Let me just clear out these guys first. Uh, Alright. Now that the annoyance is out of the way, let's take a look at our map. There's one area that I haven't looked at over there, but I, I really doubt it, but I think it's worth going to take a look. So I'll teleport us there real quick. That was the last area. Okay. Awesome. We got all five. E. I wish to express immense disappointment disheartening your conduct of your species. End translation. Oh man. That's pretty rude. Alright. So. I believe the five locations of dolphins was one here. One here. One here, I think one here, and I'm not sure where the last one was, I can't remember. Anyway, since I can't remember, unfortunately you guys won't get a video about that, but the boys playing the, watching the playthrough, you will know. You will know from flicking through. Anyway, let's go back to her. Alright, we're back. Did it, you completed the Feather Zone. Give me it. Excellent. Now, the Feather Zone will transmit directly to any nearby brainwaves. Stand by while I make adjustments. Calibrating the audio waves, changing the frequencies, lowering the pitch, and. Frick, frick. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, oh my, these words are most foul. This dolphin curses like a sailor. I never even heard of some of these words. Maybe there's a reason dolphins can't talk. What an embarrassing discovery. And congratulations on your most brilliant and useful discovery, Doctor. What was your name again? Bah, man, it's not. He's a pain. Keep the Dolphetta Stone. Just keep my name off the author list. Oh, hell yeah. I got the Dolphetta Stone. Yo, there's kind of one place that I may remember there's a dolphin that I want to test it on. Ah, there you are. Earth provides enough to satisfy every human's needs, but not every human's greed. Ah. I kind of want to look what's up here real quick, so I just want to, you know, knock out all these areas before I head into the final zone, just so I can have everything on the map. I don't think that's a... I don't think that's an actual zone, right? Oh, well. I'm only just cut through, and if, you know, there's nothing interesting to discover there, then I will just skip us to the top left zone. So there was something here. Mana Fairy. It was worth it. Okay. Alright, one last zone to look at. There's another chest on the right of this uh, worm root. I noticed that I haven't looked at it too. And a Mana Fairy, so that's good. Let's 
Probably my max mana would be pretty huge by this point with the amount of berries I've discovered. Oh, it was worth it because this is the last egg place. Oh, we're so close to unlocking Dragon then. We definitely do need to get C10 and Necro. We might hold off doing the other builds because uh, the Dragon. Really want to check it out. S tier on the egg now though. So it was here all along. Fully done with the egg there. Awesome. Oh, okay. Holy crap. <laughs> that banner though. What do I look like? Oh, I just have an eye out. <laughs> do I hurt myself? Oh my goodness, I do. Alright. Since we got that. A few things to look at still. This is connected to the Shadowlands, and there's a fairy here. I'll grab that. Alright, up in this area there's a chest. Grab this. A little bit more. The gulp. What is this? Find the treasure beyond the gulp. A little side quest here. Nice. And a chest. Noise. Don't mind if I do. Ah, that's it. Well, luckily I'm over level for this zone, so I might as well just speed through this. Oh, um, um, is that a person? Alas, I'm saved. Um, and Natation is the only thing keeping the snakes from um, munching. I am so tired. You're looking for the treasure gold, then we have our miniature interests. And the snake skins I made them um, treasure a minute ago. Please slay the snake skins in any case. I'm running out of words outside the letter um gas. Um Well I'm just gonna pop them since uh, I'm a bit over leveled for this area. <laughs> ah oh wow, that's a lot of money. Oh my goodness, I'm safe. I can't stop saying um take your money, stranger, and even safe journey. Ooh, one thousand. It's nice, uh I'm glad that I cleaned up these last few areas. Uh, I'm not sure how to get up there, but I don't really care about to it too much. Oh no, I'm guessing I need to run around the Shadowlands. Okay, let me, let me just do that real quick. It was worth it coming up here. There's a chest. Okay, we're down here now. I think that's all. We've just pretty much uh, went through everything we need to do. And now we're ready to do the Shadowlands. So, I'll teleport back up there and head my way to Dragon Ruler's Alcazar. Break walls get 300 mana, signature hits don't regen mana. Ah! Alright, we're back up here. I'm quite excited. I'm gonna be playing a Necromancer because I'm really excited to, uh... Really excited to get... Uh... The Dragon. Oh man, there's so many, so many directions to go. I probably will. Oh, Dungeon... Darkness, Dark Dungeon. I wonder what that is. I think for the rest of the time now, we just use our money to upgrade these. I prefer doing the attack first, because I don't really need the defense. Most of the builds are pretty strong. Gotta go to Dragon Rules Alcazar, because we do have enough stars. Oh, this place again. Uh... Can't go down there, there's nothing down there. Uh, I think we will go rogue. For some reason I don't have my abilities here. Atrops isn't that good, I don't think. 2000 only, wow, these guys are tanky. Uh. I should be playing the Necromancer, uh, I forgot. Oh, uh... No, my minions. Are you affected? Uh. 
Ah, uh, man, we're so close. I'm so excited for the dragon. What is this? Help members of the new League of Wizards. Wait, I haven't. I've got one thing I haven't done yet. What's my last League of Wizards quest? Kill enemies, buff and grows. Recommend Dark Tower Dungeons. Oh, okay. Kill guys with both necrotic damage and familiar damage. I mean, are the minions that strong? I mean, they hit for 500, so I'm guessing so. I mean, this place is uh, a bit very different, strange. I summon like minions too. It's really uh, entertaining, not gonna lie, <laughs> with the amount of stuff that you summon. I'm guessing I need a breakout all this area to explore everything. I do think uh, Smite might be worth it in this build with how many attacks you're bringing up. But I really want robots. Uh, Gomnominon, 4% damage dealers restores health. I think Steel Plated might be good because 0.75% uh, of my max health will be, uh, what is it, just a bit short of 51, so like, I think 40? I'm reducing damage by 40, that's pretty huge, right? So this is the exit, but I kind of want to take a look what else is in here, if there's anything interesting. Because uh, these type of places, I feel like there's all sorts of stuff that can, uh, remain hidden. Like, what is this? That's sus. Oh, okay. That's... a different place? I think there's a gate I can open here, too. Let me just do this real quick. Okay, sweet. We're just unlocking all the shortcuts. It's good to do. And there's a chest. So let me just take this real quick. Awesome, back in there we go. This guy is really, really slow. <laughs> uh oh, I spawned them all again. I think maybe having Zomnominom might be a good idea. Well, I don't think we need magic life. I think we have enough. Oh my goodness. Alright, let me just heal myself up real quick. Uh, got this. Uh, and then we're just gonna... Because the build I've been I want to maybe do with uh, the egg, which is Smite, Zomnominon, Magic Life. Because you're kind of infinitely heal. Look at that, infinite heal. Back to full life. I think it's really stupid, but uh, it's, a, it's something that probably works nonetheless. And then on top of that, we will have... I think it'll be good to have Pump Up. And as always, I think dodge would be useful, or zombie. But let's go back to Necromancer, because we want to get into C tier, now that we can so close to unlocking the dragon. What are the other quests? I keep accidentally walking out while kiting. That's not actually intentional. I don't think we need magic life, uh... Awesome! We're gonna have the dragon now. Oh, I'm excited. Behold my true form of despair! Now that- Oh, that looks sick! Oh, he's- it's like a big boy. Claw bow. Swing these giant claws with sorcery mana, charge up and dash that leaves burning lava in your wake. Lava deals light damage. 
Dragon's Dread. 10% crit chance of Vader's negative status effect apply. Oh, that looks real good. That's finally what I needed, I think, for the slug build. Yo, let's check this out. So, I think we... I think we do definitely do that. And we also apply Critch King and Crit Cleric. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, look at that dragon attack speed. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but this is not the right place for him. Minions, do your thing and protect me. I think I need a... The egg for this one. Let me just quickly get my health up. And this area is very... Oh, it was worth it. Because there's actually some a mana fairy down here. Nice. Is there anything left? Let me quickly check up here. Oh, that was pretty scary. <laughs> Almost killed ourselves. Bone pile. Oh crap. Uh. I feel like it's so hard to tell which way their actual back is for these guys. But, uh... The egg is real nice to getting my health back to full, honestly. The dragon is... Oh, that's cool. It lives up to expectations. Oh, man. Look at that. The charge time is a bit long on the lava, but it's pretty cool. Fire breath. Power range. Build 35 burn. Crit status affected. Burn values of fire breath. Hold to pull on fire breath for no extra mana. Plombo's flame. Oh man, that looks really good. So what is around here? Oh, look at the crit! This is awesome! I'm glad the final transformation actually is really good. Too bad the charge time is a bit long, that's my only problem with it. Let me smack you down. The dragon has a lot of health too, so you're like pretty darn tanky. Oh man, yeah, he's really strong. I'm pretty sure this build will be quite similar on the slug too. You'll probably run the slug the same way as the dragon. Damn, he's really good. Plus 10%. I think I'm gonna upgrade that too. It's definitely worth. Uh, where is the dragon? There, 13% crit chance. 3.5 mana. Power range starts to join up in two seconds. Yeah, the downside of this is that you have to charge this for a long time. But, uh,. Other than that, it's really, really good. Huh, what is up here? Oh, so that's what uh, this is. It just loops all the way around. So let's go back up there. Oh, sweet, you got all the transformations now. Oh, he's so good. He's, he's so fun.
And let's go do Alcazar's dungeon now. I feel like the egg is the best thing. <laughs> what is this? Oh no, the egg does like no damage whatsoever. <laughs> Oh man, if only the egg has some build. I feel like the egg's just very... it's kinda... Yeah, the egg's only gonna be useful for... For just healing yourself to fall in the background. Cause yeah, look at how unviable the damage is. Alright, the build isn't gonna work, but that's fine. We didn't expect the egg to uh, do too much damage anyway. But uh, yeah, I think that's all the egg will be used for. Let's take a look what's up here real quick. Alright, we got, I think, another level. No, we don't. Barriers from some dealers. Elite corpse. Oh, mate, you can you actually summon different demon levels? That's interesting. What's behind here? Oh, there's an elite corpse for sure. Do I? Uh, uh let me. Wasn't that an elite corpse? I'm pretty sure that was an elite corpse, right? I guess it didn't make a difference. I wonder what counts as an elite. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, let's go to the main dungeon. Enough uh, running around. I kind of like really tempted just to run to the right, which I will just do. You cannot do that, I don't think. Oh my goodness, almost killed myself. Oh, I did kill myself. <laughs> do not run to the right just like that. Patience is a virtue. Oh man, yeah, the dragon is so good. The passive is like a extremely good passive too. I wonder if that's a uh, elite up there. So I don't really know what counts as an elite. Is that elite? Oh no, it does, okay. But uh, does that make it any stronger? I can't tell, there's no visual difference in them. I don't think it's any stronger. Yeah, I don't think it's that any stronger at all. Dragon Ruler's Estate with there. Awesome, save point. Let me just quickly heal up. That's definitely... The egg is good for having a free top up. Welcome to Mouse the Alcazar. What? Oh no, not this house. The giant one a bit further. You know when, when you see it. You know, back when he was alive, there was an instant just like this one. A calamity that threatened the world monsters while unleashing a plague of gooey figures. Only because the dragon rules power that ancient climate was sealed away. It's all thanks to his power that would curse to remain here forever. Oh, what a curse. Hmm. What would it be today, boss? More upgrades, that's what. Dungeon dragon... Legendary dungeon. Oh, so shadow and light damage. Is it time? The time. 
try out the slug build. And we throw the dragon's passive on top of that. Oh, we have every ability you down. That's awesome. Anyway, where are you, dragon? Dragon Dread. 13% chance to fall baddies. Negative status to have crit applied. I do need to upgrade all of this, but that's the general gist of it. We need light damage. Oh, we do have both. Uh, what else do I want that's extra? I think I want a uh, buff up, pump up. Break wars again, mana. Easy. Welcome, welcome. We're looking forward to eating you, my friend. Dark Friends has blocked all quest forms, quest progress. Break wards. That's fine. I feel like I should uh, play a build that has a. Uh, so this build, um, the strategy is to slow them and then just auto the heck out of them. And look at the amount of crits they do. So the downside is you do need to apply a status on them, but after that, it's free real estate. Look at that damage. There we go. There we go. Those, guys, those dark ward guys are extremely annoying. But uh... Oh man, look at that damage! Holy crap! Screw autoing them, you just run into them. It's kind of similar to how you would play the horse's gallop. Or gallop. That's, a, that's some decent damage, not gonna lie. I guess that's the gross things that I need to do for the League of Wizards. Oh my goodness, look at that! <laughs> look how many crits that is! Oh my goodness, that's amazing! And then we can finish them off with just autoing them if we needed to. Holy crap, that's so good! The only problem with the slime is that he's so slow. That's my only uh, real quarries of it. Oh, and the, the aiming in this game is a little bit jank, but it's all right. Oh man, I want to know what's back there then. Oh, we gotta revisit it anyway. I wonder if uh, the slime uh, the slime ball is at a play. I'm pretty sure you just drop a slime ball and just run into them and just order them. That's like a lot of damage. Oh heck yeah, we've done the dark science. Oh. He just need to run around them. There's so many light dudes. Breaking their wards is such a pain in their butt. Remembering to like keep uh, the buff up is quite annoying. There we go. That's a lot of damage. Holy crap. That's pretty good. Who would have thought I got a perfect place to try out my build so soon? I'm pretty sure this is the best slug build. I don't think like uh, I can do much else of it. The slug and the dragon works both the same way. I kind of want to see if I can make a build with the nobody. I hope it gets 
better, like something changes on him. I'm really hoping. Let me just break all of this. It's very annoying, these uh, wards. But I gotta swap between uh, the two things. buff up. Oh my goodness, look at how many light wars that is. Oh my goodness, there's so many wards, it's so hard to uh, break everything. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh my goodness, uh, that's a strong ability. <laughs> that is a very strong ability. Then the slug is actually pretty damn good. I'd say this is like A tier. I don't think it is broken as a... Maybe even S tier, somewhere between there. It's, it'll be a high A tier for sure. Because look at that damage. I think the problem, the difficulty of it is trying to, uh, trying to land this ability. But other than that, it's pretty decent damage, not gonna lie. And this is a big first floor. I think the only downside of the slug is that, like, compared to some other things, it's like kind of slow. Like I feel like I can uh, kill enemies a lot quicker with other certain other options, you know. But it's still pretty good. Like look at that damage. It's pretty solid. Oh, I, you run out of mana so quickly too, though. Man, look at that. Three thousand. This feels like a better rogue. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Now, because of that, I'm pushing the rogue down to B tier, I think, in my head. Oh, we way overkilled the enemies. My little completionist ass is like, nah, we gotta kill them all. Yeah, the problem with the slime ball is that its cooldown's pretty long, but uh, it's still a pretty strong ability. The damage it deals is pretty ridiculous. As you can see from the 3k slime ball hits. I am clearing anything so I can get more extra money. That's always nice. So the one viable build for the egg that I'm planning to do is not that it's going to do damage. It's because it's just going to be able to full heal you outside of combat if you just get low somewhere. Oh man, going from the slug to the horse is a big difference. <laughs> Oh damn, wow, that doesn't give me back uh, passive because of horsepower. Ooh, chest! Say less. Surprise, I swear horsepower needs to be a bit more specific in uh, what it gives. Like, what counts. Alright, this is a, definitely a fight room. Why is it only showing me one enemy at a time? Come on. Every mana, I just realized every ward break is uh, full mana again too, so that's really nice. That's so I might as well just full buff up. And I just run at them like this, I think. Yeah, I'm down with this option. <laughs> oh my goodness, these guys are so annoying. There we go. Gotta get them like to come out of the floor. The blo uh, you know, yeah, Bob Blob is actually pretty darn good. Look at 
Look at that. Look how good that is. And you're not gonna have mana issues in this dungeon at all with the amount of uh, wards you're gonna break. Almost level 52. Yeah, that's so good. Like, you can just full buff up and then just casually just throw some stuff at them. Awesome. Wonder what's over here. It is elite enemies, I'm just destroying them. I'm running all over them with the slime. I just really wish uh, the slime was a bit quicker. Uh, Dude, these guys, those enemies are so annoying. Yeah, I have no clue. <laughs> they just appear and just disappear so quick. But uh, I guess if you time it right, you, you'll be fine with them. The full mana ward thing is actually really, really good. I feel like it's just better than having a signature give you mana. <laughs> Final room, Dragon Rule Alcazar. We want you to suffer more than the others. We made some new memories together. We will savor your agonized screams as we snuff out your life. That's what friends are for. I don't know if that's what friends are for. Uh, let me just uh, break your ward. I feel like uh, this is, I'm going to be a bit strong for this. <laughs> yeah, we can just... Look at that blob blob damage. I just need to run into some things, buff up again. There's enough things that I can just... <laughs> this is pretty stupid. That was pretty stupid. Alright, that's the build for sure. Toss a blob on cooldown. And then, you know, just buff up. I think this dungeon especially just uh, made it really easy. Alrighty, we have all the shard pieces. Alkaz Malkazar. Yes, we have the full gem. Is Randy gonna make his visit? Hey, it, he it healed itself. The eating will have to wait. Take the gem, take it. Far too late. Our power surpassed the gem even now. Fully restored, it's thanks to you. Take it. This matter is not what you do. The humans are being absorbed, the bones cracking into dust, their eyes shriveling. They're becoming husks with no history, no memory, just plain old feed. We have to thank you to, th you to thank for that. Huh. But like, look how incredible I am, even though I'm a husk of a human. Mouth of hell. Oh man. Before I do that, that would definitely be, uh, there'll probably be two, three more episodes now, there actually then, in that case. Oh, it's so close. Oh, 50. I believe uh, next episode we will... Well, let me leave this dungeon first. Next episode we'll do Darkness, the Beheaded Behemoth, and the Dark Tower dungeon. And then after that we will head into the mouth of hell because I feel like that's good, might be the full end game. We're so close to the end, guys. And we'll see what we do from that. And if not already, guys, check out the Getting Over It series. It's really funny. I'm, I'm almost finished with working on episode two because those uh, episodes do take a lot more editing effort. Uh, thank you so much for cleaning up the Master Alchemist Traveler. I owe you a debt of gratitude. You've already done so much. I have one thing to ask you. In the secret past to the west lies the Dragon Ruler's emissary. He has the power to release you from an infinite torment here. As a hero who claims Master Alchemist, he might be willing to listen to you. Will be, would you please speak to Emissary and release my freedom? Yeah, sure. I feel bad for you. 
Yeah, alright, but we'll do that next time or that. For now, let's advance to Master Wizard rank in uh, the League of Wizards. Brought me to the totem pieces, yippee. Alrighty. Let's go. You're gonna scam me? Impressive acolyte. No, not acolyte. I'm here, best to the title of League Master upon you. What? Thank goodness I just spent my money. Thanks. That's what a rank graduation ceremony costs. Now you've only one step higher to travel in your league journey, Meister. For your final quest, all that's required that you make a small donation. Speak to me again once you're prepared. Alright, I'm kind of broke anyway, so you, there's no way you can scam me. You have completed all the challenges. A small donation is all that required to reach Lord Grandmeister. Are you prepared? Yes. Right, let's commence the ceremony! Yes! I'm so glad I spent all my money before that. What, I don't make the... It's trickle-down economics! Read a parchment. Alright, not to comment on politics, but trickle-down economics does not work whatsoever. And oh, and from now on, all the money earned from you you won belongs to the league. Of, what? I hear my grand, your grand. That's a scam. Hold it. You're tired of how you're running things, Alistair. Fish mage, go out downstairs before I find you. Yeah, you tell him, fish mage. Your juice, fees. Everyone knows real magic isn't about the money. They're holding seances or spelling out happy birthday, fancy magic sparkles. It's time to guilds run by someone who understands that. Zip, zap, zop. Teleportation spell. Go. Get out of here. Oh, you tell him, fish mage. Yes! Thank you for all the work helping out the guild out. From here on, we'll be the kind of mages the original League of Wizards will be proud of. In recognition of all you've done to us, I best turn the title to a Grand Meister. Yay, gives my money back. Your money's no good here, Grand Meister. Your efforts are better spent finding the calamity. Hell yeah. Nice, we finished the League of Wizards too, so now we're the Thief Master, the Grand Wizard, and the Grand Knight. We're amazing. Look at us. We went from nobody to a somebody. Alrighty. Are any abilities I really want to upgrade? The Blob Love, kind of kind of great. So, I feel like Slime Slide's worth the upgrades. Oh man, I'm so broke. <laughs> I still need to play the monk, it seems, because, uh, see, I'm still missing the monk and the mermaid ability. But, that will probably be for next time. Let me kick some freaking patches down. Give me some mana back. Not being mana hungry in this household. Anyway, yeah, that's all for this episode. Like I said, next time, we'll most likely do the last few things over here before we head to Mouth of Hell. And we're so close to the end, guys. I think we're two, three episodes away for sure this time. It's been a really fun journey. I don't know what I'll do next, but you guys will hear about it in two, three episodes. All right, peace.